yes students we are uh, discussing about the sources of uh, knowledge and uh, we are discussing about the knowledge that came to our senses yes second and most important is the knowledge came to the hearing for example knowledge comes to our to through our uh, ears uh, if uh, uh, we discuss about the hearing mechanism the most important thing to learn any language is the listening hearing okay? that we listen different uh, words different languages as uh, i quote here example that uh, if a child uh, born in a uh, Pakhtun family uh, it's not in its gene that he speak Pashto he, he, he um, immediately or uh, he uh, automatically talking in Pashto when he uh, grown up if a child born in an English family he automatically speaking English he, he automatically or she automatically speak in Urdu why because he gained the knowledge through her, his hearing his family member his mother his or her mother uh, parents siblings or talking in urdu in english in pashto in a persian language that's why the word that he is hearing from his family are increasing his knowledge and he get some information through the process of hearing it is the much more important source of knowledge next one is the sense of taste for example nature of different food uh, it's the most important uh, type of knowledge for most uh, animals uh, as well as the uh, cookers women etc uh, for, uh, but i am quoting an example of a uh, and uh, uh, herbivores animals uh, we know there's a large number of grasses are present in a field a large number of the trees etc are present in a field but the goats are the hyper animals select only specific types of trees specific types of grasses for their daily eating they does not use all types of grasses for their eating why because of the taste of these plants uh, are these leaves uh, they definitely one or, or more time taste these leaves and if the taste is better then they uh, they get the knowledge that the taste of this plant is much more better than the second one that's the way they this taste of knowledge gain, uh, help them to gain the knowledge about the selection of food material second next one is the sense of touch as we know a large of people are uh, in our surroundings are not able to see uh, the things their eyes are not uh, uh, functioning normally but they are able to uh, uh, perform their daily work this is because sense of touch whenever they are moving they touch the surfaces of different things they touch the table touch the uh, laptop or etc devices and by the help of these things uh, they got the knowledge that it's mobile it's uh, and notebook etc next is the uh, sense of smell is also an important uh, uh, if we discuss about the animals the sense of smell sense of the hiring are much much more developed in lower uh, coordinates or lower vertebrates as compared to high uh, animals these senses uh, help these animals to um, uh, detect the nature as well as mm, the uh, type of chemicals present in their food present in their uh, surrounding yes now we move to our, our next knowledge through uh, knowledge through in rotations uh, intuitions this type of knowledge is mainly based on sudden feelings uh, sudden facts uh certain feelings are uh, that's occur in around us but this knowledge does not base on the facts and reality if we discuss about such types of knowledge in urdu abhi says that ilham or shock this type of knowledge is present on these things uh, in this type of knowledge our 
mind or the, our senses are does not involve to get this types of knowledge this type of knowledge is also not repeatable or non logically non scientific we say the uh, for example different types of myths etc if we say that uh, for example if we say that uh, if a black cat uh, cuts your way at the morning time the whole way of your uh, day will be worst mean we say that um, it's a myth it does not based on reality it's not a uh, knowledge that we gain from uh, uh, any religion that we gain from um, any uh, researcher etc or teacher but still we follow these types of instructions uh, if we say that uh, a crow is crying uh, in your house the guest must come to your uh, home today these are the myths these types of knowledge known as the institutions uh, we gained this type of knowledge but this types does not based on facts does not based on uh, reality but they have ability to affect other feelings of uh, our behaviors etc yes next type of knowledge is the knowledge that we get through through reasons uh, a large number of knowledge we got from our reason the mainly this types of knowledge based on the arguments and logics mainly in our classrooms we get through uh, the our uh, knowledge through these two procedures first one is the reason and the logics for example if we say that uh, in in uh, uh, first uh, gear the our car uh, run uh, slowly but take um, our more uh, fuel our consumption of fuel is high it's our uh, phenomena or it's our knowledge but why what are the main logics the line behind it's these logics help them to gain a logic uh, our knowledge uh, these knowledge are known as the arguments we get uh, different logics and according to this logic we get the argument for example we say that all the green plants have ability to synthesize the, their food but in the presence of sunlight if we disturb the uh, sunlight or we ban the, uh, the entrance of sunlight to them they are not able to uh, synthesize uh, for their food but why what's are the reasons behind these these are the logics these are the arguments so we get the knowledge through this way are known as the reasoning knowledge this types of knowledge is also divided into two categories that's our deductive reasoning and the inductive reasoning what's the main difference between both of them in deductive reasoning conclusions are logically followed by the premises what's uh, mean by it mean our conclusion are based on premises mean if we say that uh, animals uh, we get uh, a animal in our lab which have hairs on this body which have mammary glands we automatically say that it belongs from uh, mammal mammalian group this is the that's our conclusion are followed our premises and inductive reasoning our premises provide evidences for conclusion for example we can say if a animals have hair if a animals have wing if a animals have beak then it's definitely belong from the uh, birds mean our premises provide evidences for conclusion but in detective re reasoning our results um, our, our conclusion provide pre of uh, the reasoning of the uh, premises this is the uh, main uh, difference between them we continue our lecture into next video